The White House, meanwhile, continuing its spending push today. The Treasury Secretary touring a bridge that's under construction in Washington, D.C., this to make the case for more infrastructure investments. But do we need nearly $3 trillion in new spending, uh, spending that some folks say is fueling this very same inflation? With me now, Texas Republican Congressman Kevin Brady, ranking member on the House Ways and Means Committee. Uh, Congressman Brady, thanks for joining us. Uh, you, 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 you're pretty passionate on this topic today as well. Uh, explain to the audience what we're looking at here. Just the, the, on one side, we understand we need to fix our crumbling bridges. But on the other side, it seems like it's being used as an excuse or a Trojan horse for a lot of excess spending. Yeah, Charles and Tim, they, look, there, there's broad support for real, true infrastructure, no doubt about it. It's always been bipartisan, but there is this, the president's bill oh, uh, sorry. is my packed bad. full. I don't know why I have Buttigieg on my mind. That's okay. But it's packed full of wasteful spending, radical Green New Deal, and, and just lavish green subsidies for millionaire owners of wind farms and the wealthy to buy electric vehicles. This is not the way to go. And the tax increases he's insisting upon actually wipes out any economic gain from the bill. In fact, America is a net loser economically from infrastructure. That should never happen. And it's why really we need to start over. What, what he has will not work. Well, I, I, I don't think they're going to start over. They, uh, President Biden said, listen, the Republicans are going to make their pitch. Uh, he's going to look at his numbers, and I guess soon we're going to come up with a new number here. It is certainly sh will be less than $2 trillion, but a lot more than Republicans are asking for. You call the wasteful spending. You say that it involves crippling taxes, and it sabotages the job recovery. I wanted to go there. The, the notion that this actually would hurt the strong V-shaped recovery that we were enjoying even long before this year began. So I think the policies in the Biden administration are already hurting our economy. We saw this in the April jobs report. If anyone tells you these generous federal unemployment benefits aren't making it harder for Main Street business to hire, they're kidding themselves. We're already seeing those problems, but these tax increases go farther. Look, they don't land on corporations. They land on the workers, on the families whose retirement depends upon these corporations, on the communities where these companies are at, because I'm convinced if you pass the Biden tax plan, we will see a second wave of American companies moving overseas and taking their workers and their manufacturing uh, with them. That Look, you wouldn't do that in good economic times, much less trying to battle your way out of a pandemic. Yeah, we remember the word uh, inversion entered the lexicon during the Obama years, and many say yeah, this would yeah, be a lot worse. Yeah, it was a signature <laughs> economic failure of the Biden administration in, in Obama. But guess what? After the Republican tax cuts, that number went to zero. Not only that, we created a giant sucking sound of research investment back into the United States. They yeah. look to, re to reverse that. It's a big mistake. Uh, Representative Brady, always a pleasure. Thank you very much. So